Today we're talking backpacking items I'd never backpack without. Can you see the camera in there? Can you? Can you see it? What's going on guys? My name is Dan. I love hiking. I love backpacking. I love gear. If you guys like that stuff too, would you consider subscribing to the channel? Today we've got five things that I would never ever backpack without. I brought them out here with me and I want to go through them one by one for you guys so you guys can check it out and you can just see the things that I would never leave at home when I'm heading out on the trail. First on the list is gonna be a medical kit, some type of medical kit. This one just happens to be an Adventure Medical Kit 5 bag, but everything inside of it has been completely modified. Um, there's really nothing left from when I purchased this system. The most important item in here is gonna be this tiny little pill container. The pill container actually came with it. I take this little teeny pill container with me. It's got some ibuprofen in there and then I've wrapped some Luco tape on the outside of it. And the reason that I've done that is because to me, this Luco tape is more important than bringing a Band-Aid. I can use this to attach to some toilet paper and use that as a Band-Aid if I need to. I do keep Band-Aids with me as well, but this is sort of a backup to that. Luco tape is also fantastic for getting rid of blisters um, and helping those hot spots on your feet the second you start experiencing them when you're when you're walking on the trail and then ibuprofen um, it's nothing worse than getting a headache or something on the trail and you got nothing to take care of it with so I always take a medical kit with me number two on the list is gonna be some sort of navigation I take three forms of navigation with me every time I go out on the trail the first and the most obvious is gonna be your cell phone it's the best GPS available. It's got all your maps on here. I use two apps. I use Gaia GPS and I use Gut Hooks. Um, I do both. I go back and forth between them because one is typically better than the other depending on where I'm at. Um, they're not always super reliable. Um, sometimes they're, you know, you're trail isn't marked necessarily on there or it's got you pinpointed like a thousand feet from where the actual trail is but I go back and forth and I always take with me a compass. Um, my watch is a G-Shock Gulf Master. It's got a built-in compass. It's solar powered. It's got an altimeter, a barometer, a temperature gauge on here. Um, it works really well with my paper map um, so I've always got a way to find out where I'm at. Number three on my list of items that I will always backpack with, I will never leave home without, um, is going to be a good headlamp. And I want to emphasize a good headlamp. You can go to Walmart, you can get one of those cheap headlamps, and you can hope that they're going to make it and they're not going to break or they're not going to go out on you or the batteries aren't going to die instantly on you. Um, but get a good headlamp. Um, I go back and forth between this one here this is the black diamond revolt and then i bought this one several several months ago uh, this is the nightcore nu25 both of these are great headlamps um, i go back and forth because this one has such a fantastic runtime on it um, when you don't use the rechargeable batteries if you just use regular alkaline batteries in here you'll never run out of power i mean this thing will just last you in eternity and this one is fantastic because it's much brighter even the red light is much brighter and let me talk about red lights for just a second if you've ever used a red light light on a headlamp you know exactly how awesome they are they uh, save your night vision um, when you're out on the trail so your eyes can easily adjust back to the darkness have you ever talked to somebody with a headlamp on at night when you're backpacking and they've got that thing pointed directly at your face you know what I'm talking about it's horrible so do yourself a favor use some trail etiquette out there and don't be talking to each other with your headlamps blaring in each other's faces Turn on that red light, it is fantastic. Make sure you're using that red light feature. Number four on the items that I will never, ever, ever backpack without is my poop kit. Do you guys see any leaves out here? It's winter time. You ever go out in the winter without a poop kit and there's no leaves? What are you gonna do? If it's summertime and you didn't bring your poop kit, I hope you know what poison ivy looks like. I'm not gonna get into a whole video on how to poop in the woods. I just wanted to let you guys know this is obviously something that I would never ever backpack without. And I always bring a bottle of hand sanitizer with me. I usually bring uh, toilet paper and wet wipes with me. I have yet to go out and buy myself a poop trowel. Uh, I just use either a tent stake or a trekking pole or a stick. Um, if I forget my tent stake and I've really gotta go, I'll just dig a hole with my foot. Also, a little power tip for you guys. If you've gotten to a highly populated campsite and you gotta go and you're gonna walk your 200 feet or 70 steps out to your pooping area, make sure that you mark where you've pooped when you're done. 
Do the leave no trace, you know, bury it as good as you can, put those leaves back over the top of it, put maybe an X on top with sticks or do something. Because if you've ever been to a campsite and there's all kinds of poop out there, it's not fun pooping where you've pooped. There's a jet going by right now. Thank you. I'm filming for YouTube. Thank you. All right, number five on the list of items I will always have with me, I will never backpack without, is gonna be some sort of a fire starter. I always bring with me a mini Bic, and I like the mini Bics that are brightly colored for obvious reasons. If I drop it, it's gonna be easy to find. And then I always bring with me an Esbit cube for every night that I wanna have a fire because these things are so useful to be able to light fires, plus they act as a backup fuel source if my fuel canister or my stove is gonna fail. And then also, if you've got a fuel canister um, and it's got a self-ignition on it, uh, the little button that you click that gets that thing to light up, um, you can also use that to help start your fire as well. I don't recommend that you take your fuel can and shove it down into the wood and click it on and like a blowtorch, but you can hold sticks over the open flame, um, get them lit, and then put them down to your tinder or wherever you've uh, started your uh, pile to get your fire going. So those are five items I would never ever consider backpacking without. If you guys like this video, would you please hit that like button. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell notification so I can send you videos every time they're released and I will see you on the next one. I am fairly certain that my neighbors are watching me right now. Who's that guy out there? He's talking to himself in the woods. <laughs>